Howdy there. So, yesterday I watched Aguirre, The Wrath of God. Where is it? There it is. Uh, really interesting film. Uh, I put it on my queue uh, quite a while ago. Um, basically, when I was obsessed with Bad Lieutenant, uh, Port of Call, New Orleans. Um, this is early Werner Herzog. And Werner Herzog did the Bad Lieutenant remake. Uh, this is from 1972. Um, directed by Werner Herzog. Uh, it's about the legend of El Dorado when the I got a little bit of history here uh, I mean I'm not sure if it's incredibly accurate but when the Spaniards uh, invaded Africa uh, the natives to distract them made up a legend of a city of gold El Dorado in hopes that this would distract them from taking over their lands and make them obsessed with finding something that wasn't there uh, and of course making it in the you know most inaccessible place in the world one of at least so certainly leading anyone to certain death while trying to find this fictional city um, and that's pretty much what the movie's about a search party um, of Spanish soldiers uh, and their slaves going down the Amazon trying to find the lost city of gold uh, and finding only insanity in return. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give the film a 7. It is almost 40 years old so I you know give it some credit. Um, it's very different uh, than what you would be used to watching today but not too different um i didn't realize that Werner. Her i had not a Werner herzog expert uh, i have not seen many of his films though i should because he did two of my favorite films uh of the last decade he did grizzly man which i thought was amazing um one of the best documentaries of the last decade and he did Bad, uh, Bad Lieutenant, Port of Call, New Orleans, which uh, I was rather obsessed with for a few weeks, about a month. Uh, and his style, I'm not sure you know, where in his filmography this comes, but his style is very much in place. Uh, I mean, to say that what little Werner Herzog I've seen in style was very similar to this film. Uh, though it is one of his first. His style seemed to be rather cemented and now uh, in his later career that he's just um, perfected that really and still kind of explores somewhat but really he stuck to his style and because he does it so well. Uh, good story. I mean I really enjoyed the story. Um, you know it's not a movie you watch or you know hear a story like that every day so it's very interesting uh, and again I, I like the little bit of a history lesson um, there's lots of silence in this film he uh, nature has always been a prevailing theme in all of Herzog's work and that certainly stands out here um, he takes the time to admire the scenery I believe that it's shot in location I would have to think I mean, it looks gorgeous. Um, he, you know, he really takes time to appreciate the scenery, uh, to appreciate the wildlife in the area. Um, again, just beautifully photographed. Beautifully, uh, the cinematography is fantastic. Uh, lots of silence. Lots of meditative silence. Uh, watching a character sit on the banks of a river and stare for a while. Um, you know, that happens. I mean, maybe your average Joe wouldn't like this film so much because there is a lot of 
existentialism going on and just lots of uh, silence, basically. Uh, so I don't know if the average person would get a kick out of this. Um, the only actor I know in the film is Klaus Kinski, and I'm not incredibly familiar with Klaus Kinski's work. Basically, I just know his name, and I know the fact that he is a uh, brilliant uh, method uh, actor who is famous for his uh, insanity and way of work. And that makes me appreciate Herzog working with people like Christian Bale and Nicolas Cage and Val Kilmer. It's that Werner Herzog had this relationship with Klaus Kinski. They made many films together. Uh, they loved each other. Uh, and Klaus Kinski is, is crazy. He was doing things, I think, a long time before many other actors were. I think you used to see a lot of people uh, stealing from Klaus Kinski. But, you know, he came up in the time where, uh, I mean, I guess he would have just followed Brando and Dean and on all, but you definitely, there's definitely an energy to him, uh, 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 an almost sense of danger just permeates from him in this film. Uh, he has to stare into the camera a lot. Uh, and, you know, he, he delivers, he's an interesting man to <laughs> to stare back at since you are for a while just like staring into his face as he stares into yours um, and it is you know his eyes are interesting to watch um, he's the main character of the of the sh story I mean uh, there are several characters but I guess he's the main character um, he's the one that basically hosts a mutineer uh, or a mutiny excuse me on the raft going down the river and takes over everything um, and I guess is responsible for everything that happens to the crew uh, which I mean I'm not gonna want to talk about but if you think about it <laughs> setting off a bunch of Europeans floating down a raft in the Amazon you kind of know what's gonna happen uh, but his performance is, is really good. His performance is really good. I mean, sometimes I giggled just because he was having, you could tell he was having so much fun uh, pretending that it just is kind of infectious. Uh, I'm definitely glad I watched the film. Again, I'm trying to get more versed in Werner Herzog um, because so many of his recent films have meant a lot to me. So that's basically why I rented this film. And it was recommended to me by another film watcher. So, for being 40 years old, I thought it was pretty damn entertaining uh, and actually pretty current as well. So, I mean, I'm going to give it a 7 just because there was a lot of, you know, waiting and the film did require patience, but I was rewarded for my patience. Uh, and I really, I really dug it. Um, so, if you're into Herzog, and you've never seen Aguirre, The Wrath of God, then I would definitely recommend it. Um, and if you're into early 70s cinema, then, you know, I would say that it needs to be seen. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, I think that's a fair review. Uh, so that's Aguirre, The Wrath of God. It's a 7. Check it out sometime. Thanks.